Welcome to the Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast, where we explore the ins and outs of building a successful career in the tech industry. My name is Rem, your Kuya Dev, and I'm excited to have you join me for this episode. Whether you're just starting out, looking to shift careers into tech, or hoping to grow more as a tech professional, this podcast is for you. Thank you for tuning in, and together, let's enjoy the episode. Yo mga tol, finally, finally, nakapag-record na uli for the podcast. So this is episode 1 of season 4. And to start off the season, ano na natin, parang yung mabigat na agad na topic yung i-discuss natin. Ito, isa sa mga usual or frequently asked na question ng mga career shifter and even mga career starter in tech. Uh, mga bagong graduates, new graduates, and uh, mga galing bootcamps. You know? Even self-learners, especially self-learners na medyo alangan pa kung pwede na silang mag- mag-apply. So, ano nga ba? Kailan ka nga ba dapat magsimulang mag-apply na? No? Ito, ito, nag-aaral ka na, di ba? Dahil mo nang inaaral, ganyan. Tapos, medyo, matagal-tagal na rin. Two, three months na siguro nag-aaral, di ba? But you are still hesitant on applying. Kasi baka ma-reject ka eh, di ba? Kasi hindi ka pa ready. Feeling mo, hindi ka pa ready. Let's dissect that a bit. What does it mean to be ready ba? Ready by whose standards? Your standard? Papal mo malalaman na ready ka na. Sa sarili mo. Kung, kung, kung pangbatayan mo is standard mo. Or standard ba ng mga company? Meron bang common standard sa mga company? Pare-pareho ba sila nang tinitignan? Sagot dyan, hindi, di ba? Each company, ilang bang company ngayon, parang, I don't know, di ba? Parang, we have a million of companies, and siguro, a large fraction of that are hiring tech developers, di ba? Or tech professionals. Sabihin na natin. So, hindi pare-pareho yung mga yan. Kung hindi... Kung katulad ng hindi pagkakapare-pareho ng bawat tao, each company has its own policies, has its own uh, ideals, values, standards. Ang kanya-kanya sila. So, if you want to be ready you know, to tackle these companies, ano yung pagbabatayan mo? Just think about it. Alin na pagbabatayan mo kung ready ka na nga ba talaga? No. Pagsipan natin. Tingin mo, di ba? Wala, di ba? Wala tayong pagbabatayan. Kahit ako mismo, mag-apply ako ngayon sa mga companies, hindi ko alam kung ano yung standard nila. Ano ba yung kailangan nila? Ano ba yung sa tingin nila ang isang senior developer? Sino ba ang junior developer? Sino ba ang quote-unquote rockstar developer? Masasabi ko ba in in all confidence na alam ko kung ano yung hinahanap ng company na yan, na ganitong level na kailangan niya, ganitong skill set, ganitong know-how? Masasabi ko ba yon? O masasabi ba ng anyone na pare-pareho or this particular company has this kinds of has, has this kind of standard unless syempre doon ka nagtatrabaho but if you if you don't know or you if you're not part of that company you wouldn't know actually kahit nga mismo yung mga nagtatrabaho sa company na yon madalas hindi rin nila alam eh kasi marami ring factors although you have sabihin nating 
pinagbabantayan ni grading system kunwari no kunwari may grading system yung company na yan may ibang factors pa na involved eh malay mo yung interview interviewer mo masama yung gising or napagalitan ng boss na chambahan ka lang or medyo may prejudice yung yung nag interview sa yo racist pala hindi natin alam eh kung may mga bias pala sila di ba hindi natin alam so in that regard how would you know if you're ready Nabalik tayo. Sa sarili mong standards, sa sarili mong batayan, how would you know if you're ready? In all honesty, never akong naging ready. Never. Never kong naramdaman na ready ako. Kahit na nakapasok na ako ang lahat, nag-lead na ako ng team, I never feel ready for that particular role. Kasi, doon pumapasok yung ano eh, yung parang laging may kulang sa sarili mo. Sabi nga nila, uh, our biggest critic is ourselves. Na? Parang, masyado tayong hard sa sarili natin. So, hindi mo rin pwedeng pagbatayan yon, Hindi mo pwedeng umasa sa sarili mo na sabihin, sa, sabihin sa sarili mo na ready ka na. Hindi mo pwedeng antayin yon. So, hindi ka pwede sa, sa umasa sa employers. Di ba? Wala, di, wala kang idea. Sa sarili mo, masyado kang uh, harsh sa sarili mo, di ba? So kanino? Anong, anong klaseng batayan mo para sa pagiging ready mo? Para mag-apply. Mag-post ka ba sa community? Sang tatanong ka sa ibang tao? Sa internet? Ay, mas lalo nang hindi. Di mo na makilala yan. Eh. <laughs> Kung ano man yung uh, sabihin nila na ganito kailangan mo, ganyan-ganyan kailangan mo, it's not a guarantee na yun nga ang inahanap nung pag a mo. Aral ka ng React, aral ka ng uh, Python, ganito, pagpunta ka sa ganyan, mag-bootcamp ka, kuha ka ng mga ganito certificate, you wouldn't know. So, hindi rin pwede sa ibang tao. Lalo, lalo lang di pwede sa pamilya mo or friends, unless, of course, yung friend mo na yun, taga doon, doon sa company na applyan mo. Medyo may laban-laban ka ron, But not really pa rin, di ba? Dahil nga sinabi natin kanina, may ibang factors din. Maraming factors na hindi natin kaya kontrol eh. So, suma total, you know, in conclusion, there's no real uh, basis for being ready you know, for applying for jobs. Medyo disheartening, ano? So, hindi ako magiging ready. Yeah, you will never feel ready. And that's the reality. And you should never aim, no? Don't aim to be ready. Ito ang kailangan mong gawin. Mag-apply ka na, even before you feel that you're ready. Which means, mag-apply ka na ngayon pa lang. Bakit, Kuya Dev? Eh, di, marireject ako kasi di nga ako ready eh, di ba? Marireject ako. Oo, oh, marireject ka. And that's the point. Marireject ka. Get rejected. Huwag kang matakot ma-reject. Instead, you know, look forward to it. Look forward to being rejected. Ito, I, I, don't, I, don't, have, I, I don't have the numbers, ha? I don't have the statistics. Pero ito na lang. Isipin nyo na lang. Gano karami ang taong na land yung trabaho nila on the first try? On the first interview. Yung una pa lang na kumpanya na pinuntahan nila, na-impress agad, kinuha agad siya. Gano kalaki yung chance na mangyari yan? I think you don't even need to look at the numbers. Common sense na lang siguro na sabihin na Napakaliit ng chance na mag ka on your first try. Especially sa interviews. You will fail. So, sinasabi ko, mag-fail ka na faster. Or fail fast. Or 
fail as soon as you can. No? Get rejected as soon as you can. And get rejected, isa pa, uh, second point, get rejected as often as you can. But, Kuya Dev, ang sama naman nun, parang nakakapanghina naman yun na lagi yung nare-reject na parang nakakapanghina na loob, di ba? Agree! You know? And that's what we need to change. Kailangan mo ma ma-develop yung uh, way mo to cope with failure. How do you cope with failure? How do you handle failure? Malalaman mo yon through rejection, through failure. Kasi hindi mo naman mapapractice how to handle a failure. Kunti ka nag-fail, di ba? Paano mo malalaman yun? Walang libro para doon. Walang kahit anong training na pwede mong gawin uh, para maging ready ka to fail or to be prepared to, for failure kung hang, uh, unless, you know, you fail. You know? Pero syempre, hindi mo naman sasadyain na mag-fail ka, di ba? mag attempt ka, pero you would expect the worst. You, know? you will do your best, but expect na mag-fail ka pa rin nga, even if you do your best. So yun. I, ho- I, hope- I hope I'm making sense. Mag-apply ka na. Get rejected as soon as possible. And get rejected as often as possible. So apply to many jobs. Ayan na nga. Nasasanay ka na na ma-reject. Medyo nagiging comfortable ka na with the feeling of getting rejected by these companies. The next step there is to learn. So, wala na. Hindi, mo, hindi ka na natatakot ngayon mag-apply, di ba? Medyo pagka nasa interview ka na, medyo yung kaba, wala na. Kasi medyo may expectation ka na na even if you do your best, there's a high chance na mare-reject ka. Which is okay lang. Dahil oh, ano na, wala naman nangyari. Ano, ano mong mawawala kung ma-reject ka? Mawawala siguro oras. Ano ba nakakahiya sa ma-reject? Lahat naman tayo, lahat naman, yung sinasabi ko nga, di ba? Parang iil lang yung tao na pagka-apply nila sa unang job nila, nakuha agad nila yon Sobrang bihira yon So, it's a normal thing to get rejected and it's not something to be ashamed about. And it's, no, it's, it's normal. You know? So, ayan na. sabi nating Okay ka na sa ano, kaya mo na i-handle ang rejection, kaya mo na i-handle ang failure. Learn. With each rejection, try to learn. Saan ba ako nagkamali? What can I improve on? No? Next time, paano ko naman i-approach yung interview? Then, magtanong ka rin sa kanila, what do I... What 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 am I lacking in pa? What am I uh, what skills do I still work, have to work on? Tanungin niyo yung mga lagi interview sa iyo. Hindi kayo feedback. And most of them I guarantee most of them appreciate that ano, that gesture. And they will really provide you with the advice on how to do better. And who knows, maybe yung pagka nagtanong ka ng ganon, it will leave an impression on them. And a couple of years later, a few months later, baka kontakin ka uli. Kasi, ano, baka mag-check in sila sa'yo, ano na naging progress mo, di ba? You, you, don't, you don't know eh. Malay mo, swertehin ka sa mga ganon. But still, the, 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 the real purpose is to find ways to improve. So, you do that iterative Uh, iterative uh, process. You know? Mag-try ka muna. First time. Fail. Learn. Try ka uli. Apply what you learned. Get rejected uli. Then, with every re- rejection, you will get better. I assure you. You will get really good at interviewing. Malalaman mo ngayon ano yung mga klaseng exam yung binibigay tuwing technical exams, di ba? 
malaman mo rin yung mga usual na tanong at anong klasing mga uh, an- anong klasing mga interviewer ang may ma- encounter mo ma ano yon eh tapos makakita ka ng patterns yeah. and eventually eventually someone will take a chance on you may kita nila you're a very strong candidate you interview well we want you and this is one secret sa sa sa, sa tech industry na hindi pa rin ma-solve-solve ngayon ng hiring process is interviewing is a skill. No? You're going to be very bad at it at the start. No one, be, again, be, hindi ko masinasabing no one, bihira rin yung taong pinanganak na magaling magpa-interview. <coughs> Excuse me. Na magaling magpa-interview. Bihira yung taong ganon. You can hone that skill with every skill uh, na meron sa mundo. Every skill you can hone. And that, in- that includes interviewing. So, and because that's, uh, and because interviewing is a skill, pwede mo siyang game, di ba? Kasi nga, mga sinabi ko kanina, paano mo siya matututunan, paano mo mahon yung 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 interviewing skills mo nagigame siya na there are companies that are re- uh, realizing na not because someone is good at interviewing is going to be good at his job kasi magkaibang skills yon <laughs> magkaibang skills yon na ano yon kaya Di ko rin, ano eh, another, this is another topic, but hindi ko rin mag-gets, but napakahirap na, na mga uh, technical interviews na minibigay. It's not a proxy naman of what's going to be uh, the job uh, on the actual day-to-day. Eh. Ibang-iba, kadalasan. Yeah, again, that's another topic for another day. But, you know, you have to understand na magkaiba yon magkaiba yung skill ng pag-interview sa skill ng day-to-day job. Magkaiba yan. So, here, in interviewing, you're optimizing for the interview, not for the job. no? Not because mahirap yung interview, ibig sabihin, yung job, mahirap. Usually, sobrang dali. Sobrang mas madali kaysa dun sa interview. So, yun. Um... I hope you understand that, you know. Uh, you appreciate na interviewing is a skill. Paulit-ulit, paulit-ulit na ako, you know. Uh, but yeah, um, yun lang. And uh, hope I hope you you napulot nyo yun. And good luck sa mga nagpapa-interview. And go get rejected. Mag-apply na kayo ngayon. Sig- uh, siguro ang baseline is, sabihin natin... Nakabuo ka na ng isang project for your portfolio. Kahit siguro nakabuo ka lang lang yung ano lang is kung web developer ka, simple to do. A to do app, nakabuo ka na. Start applying na. 'Di ba? 'Di ba hassle 'yun sa mga HR? Hindi na problemahin 'yun. Ang i-focus niyo makapasok sa tech industry. Trabaho naman nila 'yon eh. So 'yun. Um, good luck and I'll see you next episode thank you for joining me for another episode of the Kuya Dev Tidbits podcast I hope it will be helpful to you in your tech career journey remember building a successful career in tech takes time and dedication but with the right mindset and resources anything is possible if you enjoyed this episode please don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends and colleagues. And if you have comments, suggestions, or any questions or topics you'd like to hear more about, feel free to email me at rem at kuya.dev. I'd also love to hear your own stories and experiences. So don't be shy, reach out and share them with me. 
I'm always here to support you in your tech journey. Do also join our community, Tech Career Shifter Philippines at www.techcareershifter.com. Until next time, keep learning, growing, and chasing your dreams. Thank you again for listening, and I'll see you in the next episode.